Hey guys, had a really cool video here for you. Uh, just wanted to show you, this is a what's left over from my Sh uh, Shine Armor F11 solution finish, the last coat Sarah trim comparison. And before I get rid of it, I wanted to try three different th things. 35% isopropyl alcohol, see if it uh, removes anything. And on the top, I'm going to put Purple Power which is a heavy duty degreaser used at 100% concentration and then in the middle I'm going to just try to use some gasoline and the reason I do that is you know say if you have fender flares or something like that on your truck and it uh, you spill some gas when you're filling it up or something like that uh, and it gets on your trim well this would be a good example of that so here's our purple power and let's see if it takes anything off. So the towel's getting slight, a little bit of a black from that. Now that's probably from solution finish as it has that carbon black in it. But really it doesn't, it looks like both solution finish and the last coat are holding up. Uh, you won't hear me mention much about shine armor in this video because as you can see it's pretty much completely gone after the 10 washes and I'll link to that video in the comments below here in the description. So here we go with the gasoline. And I'm not rubbing very hard just kind of getting it on there making a line. Of course wearing gloves and in a well ventilated area. And you can see it definitely pulled both of them off. Look at that. So, you know, there's there's not a lot of resistance to fuel. If you were to spill it on something, like when you were fueling up, that's kind of why I did that, as I said earlier. You can see it's turning right back to the light gray as it's, as it's drying here. So something to keep in mind, if you're filling up, be very careful. But it, if you look at the very top there, there is some of the gloss from the last coat has come off and it did take a little bit of the solution finish off. That spot in the middle of solution finish, I think that has to do with the uh, the panel itself, because as you can see in the original video, the panel was in pretty poor shape when it started. So there's your answer to that. Just thought I'd put this little video together for you guys. As always, please consider subscribing if you haven't. Smash that like button, hit the bell icon so you can get notifications, and comment below. If you have any other ideas for future torture tests or anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks again.